Dink, 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 dink. Jeez. Is that loud enough? Holy Welcome smokes. back to our podcast. Welcome back oh to the Jim and Julian podcast. What the heck? How did you get in here? There's a locked door. <laughs> did you pick the lock? How the heck did you even get in? Well, I climbed up. There's a trellis outside. I climbed up the trellis and climbed through the window. Okay, I'm going to be real with you. I don't know what a trellis is. Oh, well. Can you... I'm going to be real with you. I'm calling the cops. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask the cop when he gets here what a trellis is. Okay. In your bed. Go. Welcome back to the Jen Julian Podcast. Is that this for me? This episode is brought to you oh. by The Skim. What a great thing The Skim is. It's a newsletter. It's completely free. You wake up. In five minutes, you can skim the most important news with The Skim. All right? And if you want to deep dive, they have more information for you there. Go to theskim.com. That's T-H-E-S-K-I-M-M, two M's, dot com slash Jen and Julian. Enter your email, subscribe. It's completely free. Do it right now. It's awesome. And you enter to win a $250 Visa gift card when you do that. Also, if you're building a website, do it with Squarespace. Okay? Squarespace is an awesome service. They make building websites super streamlined and easy and beautiful. You can make really nice looking websites uh, with little to no experience at all. Uh, it's so easy. You're going to be kind of blown away. So check it out. You could do a free trial right now or go to squarespace.com slash Jenna Julian to save 10% off the first purchase of a website or domain right now. What? He's trying to read the sponsors. Well, you had a thought. She's that seems pretty important. She's sticking her tongue out at me. Oh. I'm being, sp- I'm being Kermit. Was that what I needed to... I'm sorry. I tried to wait till the end. Well, you you didn't try that hard. I waited as long as I could. Then I, then I couldn't wait anymore. So what do you got in that mug there? Ooh, yeah, I did pour some wine, and it's 11 a.m. It's not 11 a.m. It's not 11 a.m. <laughs> it's like almost 4 p.m. <laughs> oh. Which means it's 5 o'clock somewhere. Yeah. Uh, At my house. Literally like five. two hours away from us. It's 5 I don't o'clock. know why I did that. I never do anything like that, but I just said, I don't know why. I just thought I would do it. It's all good. Yes, there's wine, rosé wine in this cup. Jen is really psyched right now. She's just, everything's great. Mm-hmm. Ah! Okay, our, our headphones are too loud. Well, if it's going to be shouting. No, no, it's fine. I'm allowed we to should shout. Always, you're allowed to shout. To. We just got to be ready for it. <laughs> well, I'm just saying. <laughs> ah! Me and Debbie are... Um, we're sharing the same <laughs> the same volume thing here, so. Oh no! I had to lower both of our. That's, oh, I hope that's no. okay with you. No, I'm. Oh no! I'm Welcome old. back to the podcast, I'm just Debbie. A, this oh, is your fifth no. I'm just, <laughs> appearance. Oh no! What's your name? Oh no! Oh no! Is it your fifth appearance? It has to be fifth. Where's your sushi shirt? Oh, what the hell? You didn't even wear the sushi shirt for the podcast. It, I, it's be, it's hermetically sealed, and it's being sent off to the Smithsonian. Why did you even bring it? You said you brought it on the trip, but you don't even I have it. I doubt that it's in your suitcase. I, yeah, I'm honestly it's doubting it. It's Hermetically too. sealed, and it's going off to the Smithsonian because it is so famous. Listen, I just do what the people ask. They wanted you're the, a woman of this, the people. We want you to wear it. We're on asking the you to wear it. It's, we're the people. It's it's sealed. I can't open it. I kind of disagree a little bit. How is it on its way to the Smithsonian and in your suitcase? Okay, uh, at the same here are time? your here are your options now. Okay, you either go get it and put it on, or I'm gonna go get it and put it on me. That now that I would pay to see the no, sushi shirt. You you're supposed to it. fight for your shirt and say, "Don't touch it. It's for me." You that, should sell merch that is sushi shirts on, on a, a shirt, shirt. <laughs> just a t-shirt. Yeah, that was Julian's idea. Yeah, well, a sushi know. shirt on a sh- on a sh- on a shirt. Yeah. That one's on the house. Just send me a free sushi sushi shirt. And it shirt, says, shirt. "This is my sushi shirt." <laughs> and then, or the pro- I'm wearing my sushi shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and the product description is sushi shirt shirt. What do you think? Listen, if you want to get. Going to business. I'm not shaking with you. Well, why not? Because I'm trustworthy. Yeah. Okay. Oh, I don't know oh, about no, that tone. No, 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 I don't no, know about no, that no. tone. Especially when you're in that tone of voice. That that means you're on. So you're saying my tone of voice is indica- indicative of what what my uh, trustworthiness is. You can't even hardly keep a straight face. So I'm don't talking he- normally. Look it. Look I'm at talking face. normally with a straight face. He's right. <laughs> oh, I'm talking phone. You like open your mouth. <laughs> Yeah, I can tell when you're. <laughs> All I can think of when I hear straight face is Chris is Chris Melberger. <laughs> oh my god! Walk a straight line. Balls. <laughs> Two dudes holding hands. Wiener. I can't. I, what is it? I can't think straight. <laughs> yeah. That kid oh, is boy. funny. Um. Anyway. See ya. It was great to be here. Thanks. 
I put him back on. You said see ya. No, I, I was. I it was that, a. It was you a, said I was only going to be on for a few minutes. It's the and same then you thing gonna... as like hello, see ya. You know how they say aloha? That means hello and mm. goodbye. It was see ya. It was like in a hello <laughs> way. See ya. Is that like in a science way? <laughs> in Is a science like a, way. In a hello way. Are you quoting me? <sighs> yes. Because if you're quoting me, I'd like you to properly cite that. In a science way. Can I have some coffee? I need more energy somehow. Only if you pour it from up here. Okay. Oh, my God. Oh. And I'm wearing my new Croc shirt. Risked it for the biscuit. Didn't right, get anything on it. now you do that it. with your wine. Do it with your wine. Actually, don't. That's a neat dude shirt. You're going to get red wine on it. Is it red wine? Oh, no. It's white wine. You just drank it normally. Wow. What? That wasn't Close even... Close out. Why don't you... That's like you going to a hot dog eating contest and just eating one hot dog slowly <laughs> and leaving. Like, what even was that? I'm not going to drink that much wine. I, plus, I'll, I'll spill it all over. Then I'll have the whole podcast with Risk wine on me. Risk it for the biscuit. Okay, Do no. it. Debbie, Debbie, I'm not Debbie, signing off on this. Debbie, Debbie, Debbie. Do it. Do it. <laughs> Debbie. Oh, ah, no. <laughs> all right, now I'm calling I, the cops. Uh, I took no part in any of that. I wasn't even here Nine for that. one. Can you take the marble bed off the table? It's distracting. Where is it? Do you want to clean up the get, wine with it? Just get, it <laughs> get it the hell out of here. <laughs> Marble's in my lap because I gave him a bath, so he needs cuddles because he's still a little chilly. He's a fuzzy boy. He's a fuzzy Sorry, boy. neat dude. I'm not doing your shirt any justice you've been, here. You've been repping that hard. Anyway, uh, the machine is here in town with us, so we thought, hey, instead of podcasting and just abandoning her downstairs, why don't why don't you join us for your fifth appearance? I think it's been four years. I am happy to officially announce this is the fifth appearance. I think, mm. and you won't wear your sushi shirt. I can't so. believe you don't have a sushi shirt. I'll tell you, I I don't believe that you brought it. But whatever, we'll deal with that later. Mm-hmm. Um, how are you? I'm excellent, thank you. What's new with you since you were here last? Because it's been, what, 10 months, something like that? I don't know. Yeah, a long time. I don't know. I just work on the podcast, which is very fun. And I live in Oregon, and I walk my dog. Mm -hmm. Gildy. Gildy. (laughs) Yeah, whatever her name is. I'm sorry, Gildy's been on one this trip. (laughs) If my mom, okay, if my mom lets her, she'll, has been on she'll go upstairs and sit in my mom's room All day. the entire time. All day. In her crate. Well, you come down for maybe for dinner. Maybe. And for potty time. What do you mean if I let her? I mean, I'm not the boss of her. Oh, She's yes, I am. She's the boss of you. Well, today you, you closed the door to your room and brought her crate downstairs. So that's the only reason we've seen her today. I know. <clears throat> but she ended up staying down there. So I forgot that was how you, that's the best way to do it is don't. Just don't let her go up She's there. She's also the there. only dog that I've ever met that, like, right after dinner, she just puts herself to bed. She's like, yeah. all right, fucking see y'all. She's like Benjamin Button. <laughs> 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 she just, I'm going to bed now. It's nighttime. nighttime. Wah. Night. Wah, wah. Uh, she lunged for some hot food that fell out of the pot while I was cooking it so fast that I actually, like, I almost lost that fight because I was, like, I was trying to get the food before she did, and she... She's really wanted to burn herself on that hot food. She was so quick. Like some of the Iggy's, you know, they're sneaky and then they pounce, kind of like little cats. You know, little cats. But they're not. <laughs> she just like bulldozed towards, <laughs> like slammed into the cabinet. I what tell do you, people uh, don't feed her out of your hand because oh, she'll jump for it. Yeah, and especially when we're in the park or something. And I'm like, they said, can I give her a treat? Oh no, that would be okay. <laughs> Do they do it? No. They take their treat out of their pocket and try to feed her out of their wait, hand. Wait, wait, wait. You, your response, meaning no, is no, that would be okay? That's a confusing response. Oh, did I say yeah, that? that? Is, that is I confusing. would definitely give a treat oh, if you said no, I that would be I say no, okay. thank you. Okay. I also think bringing <clears throat> dog treats to a dog park is just a great way to start a dog fight. Anyway, that's what I'm like. Why have you got... Well, anyway, I don't go into that, but I said, no, thank you. What I, what I said was no, thank you. I, what I said, oh God. What'd you say? I said, no, thank you. Oh. That would be okay. No, thank you, but that would be okay. No, thank you, but right. yes, please, right now. I I can see I said that now, but, or I can hear that I said that now. That is, yeah. Maybe so what happened? Can I give your dog a treat? No, thank you. Ambiguous but that would be, answer. <laughs> but that would be okay. That's why uh, that okay. happens. I don't know. Anyway, she just lunges for it, and then she doesn't ever mean to like hurt anybody, but she just- She bites. She has big she teeth, bites. and she, you know- She also kiss bites. Like when she goes to kiss you, she's got full teeth in there. Oh. 
Yeah. I'm a terrible dog mom. No, you're not. She she's My a dog sweetheart. Bites she and... just has a, a loud personality. I'm just I was thinking it's funny because she's just been completely on one this whole trip. Yeah. Oh. And but you know, she's she's good. And what's she's great existing. is like she uh she's easy. she comes over and even before Bunny and now with Bunny, she comes over, you know, however many times a year we see her and she just fits right in and she's yeah, good she's with the easy. dogs and she's easy. She, you know, pretty much takes care of herself. Yeah, like, she's completely independent. She, she I mean, not to be rude, but I don't think she needs an owner. I think she just <laughs> could live in an apartment by herself. <laughs> And just like feed herself and go her, shopping and set her bills up on auto pay and she'd be fine. <laughs> Get her some Amazon Fresh deliveries. <laughs> like she'd be totally fine. Well, that's what I used to say about this one. Just give her food, clothing, shelter, food, clothing, shelter, and love, and get the hell out of and her get way. Get the hell so out of her way. That's what I used I to do. I was born so. with an agenda. <laughs> yeah. yeah, absolutely. Oh boy. So <clears throat> I guess I raised the dog the same way. I, I don't. I don't know. No, you you're doing a good job. When I when they so grow we up were so talking fast. today, and I was th- thinking about how. <laughs> I don't. You know, this is my first dog, the first time I ever owned a dog. And I, you know, when I was tra- learning, when the trainer was training me to tr- to train my dog, mm-hmm. I didn't even know that until after a while in. You know, yeah. and then, so I can see all the mistakes I made. But she's a terrier, and she's, she's a good girl. Going to be she's eight years really old this girl. year. She's a very good girl. Anyway, uh, I thought parental it, guilt. I thought it would be a funny idea to uh, have Debbie Machine try to guess the meanings of some Urban Dictionary words. Ooh, ready. Now, I know that there is a game, like a physical card game that they sell at like, Walmart. I think we had it. The but box looked point. familiar when I was looking it up online. Yeah. But I do think the um, it, it's actually better to do it the way we're going to do it because with the card game, there's a visual component and we like to keep everything kind of audio-centric on the podcast for those who may just be listening on their headphones and not be watching. We want to like, you know, make sure everyone's covered here. So uh, Jenna and I um, compiled a few terms that we wanted to read to you and you're going to give us what you think they mean. And then if you get it right, great. And then if you don't, we're going to tell you what it actually means. Okay. You don't think I'm going to get them all right? I, I mean, think I'm, I'm, if you I get think it wrong, you got to um, take a sip like of wine. <laughs> yeah, you got you to waterfall <laughs> some wine. Do you know that's called waterfalling? No, I that's didn't an know urban that. dictionary term. That's the first one. O for one. It's called waterfalling when you pour a drink into your mouth, but like a waterfall with space in between. Okay, but if I don't get, if I get one right, okay. you two guys, you guys have to do something. I'll waterfall some, some of that water if you if you'll let me. It's your water. Okay. What? It's a waterfall. It's only going one direction. There's no way my spit gets in that. I'm <laughs> gravity is helping you there. What if it hits your mouth and splashes back up into the cup? Damn, that's pretty sick. <laughs> I would like to see that, actually. Yeah. All right. You ready? Okay. Okay. 72. What does it mean when... That wasn't the answer? It's not... They're not math problems. (laughs) I haven't even said anything I know. I was... I thought I had ESP, and I thought I could know what the question was, and that's the answer that came to me. What does ESP stand for? What does ESP stand for? Extrasensory perception. Damn. She fucking did it to us. Extra special person? (laughs) Okay. (laughs) Get cucked. What does it mean to get cucked? Oh Julian, God. I swear to God. What? What? <laughs> you said I could look some up. Okay, but this is the Urban Dictionary term. Urban Julian, Dictionary term. Julian, <laughs> no. It's not, it's, not, it's not the literal term. It's, what does it mean if I say, oh, I got cucked? Oh, I just got so cucked. <laughs> Don't look at me. Don't look at me. <laughs> Don't I didn't put this one in there. Um, it's a two-pronged answer. There's Urban a, Dictionary there's a can literal be answer. extremely filthy, and we did our best to make these. We, not. Th- there's the the filthiest, but we didn't get any filthy ones. I just this was cucked. So okay, um, I'm gonna say that your girlfriend pushed you around. See, that's actually that's not, a bad, not guess. a bad guess. That's pretty close to the actual definition of getting cucked. Do you know what the term cuckold is? Mm-hmm. Okay, so that's it's a short version of that. Mm-hmm. What's what's cuckold? What does cuckold mean? It means it's a very old term. It was like when your wife controlled everything that you did. No, that's a very broad sense of it. Cuckold. If I'm a cuckold, it would mean my wife or woman went and like oh. ha- had relations with another oh. person, I and know. I was okay. made to be the cuckold because I was the oh, one who I was see. cheated okay. on or whatever. Yeah, but I didn't know that. Doesn't that also imply that like you're aware of it and you're yeah, like, that's okay. I kind of allow it. Like I'm a little bit submissive in, in this situation. Oh, okay. Have you seen the vlog where we went and took pictures with Santa? With Kermit. 
Maybe. Jenna went to the mall and got Santa know. pictures. Was that was a good example of the traditional term of cuckold. I, in that situation, I was the cuckold and Santa was the man. Yeah, that man like wrapped his arm around me like the picture. He's got like his hand like on, <laughs> on my your leg. leg and I'm just sitting there like, I'm just, can I leave? And Julian's, that's I'm why filming. Julian was like, Santa cucked me. <laughs> Santa, I'm the cuckold cameraman. Cuckold cameraman, band name called it. <laughs> Julian, stop. Uh, so in, what was in the urban, band name what? <laughs> He it's, called it. I'm, it's my new band. What is it called? Cuckold Cameraman. <laughs> okay, but in the Urban Dictionary, cucked means you got fucked over. Like it's something bad happened. Like, oh, I just got so cucked. Yeah, that seemed like the answer, but I just was not going to well, say were, that. Well, you were honestly not I was not going to say that, basically. Well, you, you fight that ha- urge. Ha- fight the urge to not say something mm-hmm. and just, just go ahead and say yeah, it because yeah. that's your best chance at getting these If right. this one is saying, Julian, Julian. Then it's probably... What do you I'm think? not going to answer it. No, no, no. no. You all, you <laughs> okay, have I'll to... say nothing then. Okay. Oh. This one, no, I actually, I'm just saying. This one, I actually did not know what it meant before I looked it up. It was one of those like pop up trending ones on Urban Dictionary. It is called a, f- a full on Monet. Mm. <clears throat> this one's actually kind of mean. But I looked at, I, you know, it was trending. So a full on Monet. Monet. What is it? Why would you call someone a full-on Monet? I mean, you have to be kind of a mean person to use this term. So I would say that that means that the person is sort of uh, round. Okay. And voluptuous. Okay. So Can like, I guess? Yeah, go ahead. Is that somebody that wears a lot of makeup or you could say they went full-on Monet on that face? You know what I'm saying? You're both, in a weird way, you know, getting there. The what answer is, is someone who's attractive from afar... But when they get close, oh no, it is not the case. Oh no, <laughs> oh no, it's kind of mean. Kinda. It's kind of a mean term. Oh no, it's a mean term. <laughs> you guys both. You ever seen a Monet up close? It makes no fucking sense. <laughs> oh boy, full on Monet. Oh okay. Grace. Oh, oh Grace. Grace. <laughs> okay, this one's good. You ready, Debbie? Beow, yes. Beow, 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 beow. Oh Grace. Oh Grace. Oh, Grace. Oh, Grace. You gotta find an empty spot. Oh Grace. <laughs> What about my choice? I'm not sure what's happening here. <laughs> it was a choice. It was a choice. We're just repeating TikTok. I'm saying TikToks. it was a choice. What about? It was a choice. Where's my what? choice? <laughs> this is just what's happening. We're just, okay. That's how our brains are right now, by the way. Okay, ready, Debbie? Now you know why I'm day drinking. What is it? <laughs> oh, shit. Fine. What the fuck? Damn, we're that insufferable, y'all. No, I meant you might as well go with Listen, it, Listen, right? all right? Everyone quiet on set. What's the, what does this mean? When you're when you're danked rupt. <laughs> I picked this one. Jenna picked this one. Danked rupt. Dank rupt. Dank, dank rupt. rupt. Like bankrupt. Ooh, I, I, I dank. Yeah, rupt. I got that right. Okay, what do you got? Dank rupt. Um, I'll, I can give you it to you in a sentence if it helps. Oh sure, okay. Hey, we need to hit the weed spot, dog. We dank rupt. <laughs> <laughs> I got no weed, man. <laughs> That's it. Nice job. Well done. All right. You got one. I so live in Oregon where it's legal, so there's a lot of stone people walking around. It's legal here, too. It's legal here, too. Oh, that's right. I forgot that. Well, there's but other places that people we get. You live in Oregon, right? You're cooler than us. We get it. We get it. You're you a Pacific, Northwest Pacific Northwesterner. Person. We, we get, get it. it. You have trees and You can and grow clouds. your own food outside. We, we get, get it. it. People ride their bicycles long distances. You mostly have free public transportation and everywhere is dog friendly. We get it. We get it. it. Your crops are really doing well because it rains a lot. We get it. <laughs> People own like cows and chickens and, and Subarus and and Subarus. We get it. We get it. We get it. All right. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> and you know what they say about Californians? Oh, what? What do they say about California? What? <laughs> I'm not. I can't represent Oregon because you know I haven't lived there very long. But they're like, oh, that guy's an asshole. Oh, wait, there's California plates on that car. No wonder they're an asshole. I think that's accurate. Yeah, probably. That's pretty accurate. Yeah. I mean, it's also like there's how many times more people that live in the state of California than the state of Oregon. So 38 more times. Yeah, maybe. there's a big high possibility that some of those people going to be assholes. All right, dead ass. Tired? No, dead ass does not mean tired. <laughs> you want me to give it to you in a sentence? Don't you be, you're, you're not dead ass tired? Uh, it sounds sounds like it could work. That's what I okay. Give me a t- give it to me in a sentence, please. 
So, Jenna, tell me a fact that would shock me. Cut the cameras. Dead ass. Okay, that's good. Oh, that's like I quoted Black China. Okay, cut the cameras. Dead ass, says Thank Black you. China. Like, right now. No, but... Like, if Jenna said... Or your ass is grass. If I didn't know you were coming. Yeah. And Jenna said, oh, yeah, my mom's coming over. I would be like, dead, dead ass? ass? <laughs> <laughs> dead ass? Machine's coming? Dead ass? Dead ass. Like, I don't know. Get Really? Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, like, for real. Like, oh. if I say dead ass, I mean, like, are you serious? Cut the cameras. Really? Cut the cameras for real. Like, like I'm not joking. Oh, that's dead what I ass. said. Yeah, if that's I what I said. Yes. said yeah, for oh, real. I see. Okay. Yeah, good job. You're doing well. I think I got that one. Dead ass. <laughs> this one's actually funny, and I didn't know what it meant. You got that. You got that one dead ass. You got that one dead ass. <laughs> Hit me up. Hit me up. <clears throat> Come on. Daps me. Thank you. Okay, this one's Nevuary. Nevuary? <laughs> it's funny. Nevuary. That's what I said. Nevuary. 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 Yes. <laughs> That's when it snows in February. <laughs> what? <laughs> no, that would just be called snow in February. No, that's because the word in um, Spanish for snow oh. is nieve. Oh, Grace. Oh, oh Grace. <laughs> <laughs> Mom, do you maybe want to fucking stretch a little before you go reach that far? <laughs> February. Oh, like never. Yes. Never. It's a date never, used for ne something that will right. never happen. Yeah. Like, oh, that, yeah, I'm definitely going to come over to your house on February 24th. Yes, I got it. Got it. I like that one, actually. I like that one, too. Yeah, I actually feel February. like I could use that one. Yeah, like I'm February coming on this podcast again. <laughs> Shit. Oh. Damn. Well, you know. Listen, all right? I'm, I'm not trying to bother me. you. What? Oh, nothing. No, no, no. Go ahead. Dead ass. Dead ass. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what we're getting these from? Out of your butts? I don't no. know. The Urban Dictionary. You ever yes, heard I know the, Dictionary? I know what the Urban Dictionary is. Do you know what it is? It's an online thing that says what what sentences this is are a popular. Segue. It's this a is website. A and if this you want to build segue. a website, you build it with Squarespace. <laughs> so if you want to build your version of Urban Dictionary, but better or your own or nothing to do with Urban Dictionary, <laughs> just go ass. to squarespace.com slash Jenna Julian. Dead ass. <laughs> okay, use that URL. It's linked below. If you do that, you get 10% off your first purchase of a website or a domain. It's a drag and drop visual website builder. It makes it so simple, like you're a toddler playing a little game with their blocks. It's so easy. Okay, Julian. What? <laughs> that's how easy it is. Okay, Julian. Okay. I don't think that's it's, in the copy. It's fresh and responsive. I added it. It's edited in. Uh, there's easy interfaces to use for your uh, podcasting website. You can have an online shop. It can be for photography. It can be for your small business. Whatever it is, you can do with Squarespace. And if all that isn't enough, if you ever need help, they have 24 hours a day, seven days a week, customer support, award-winning customer service on Squarespace. So if you ever get stuck or you want to learn how to activate different features or make a website change that you don't quite know how, they are there to help you literally all day and all night, which is amazing. So you can add your content in the way you want it to look on mobile, on desktop, on iPads, on tablets, whatever. Squarespace, build the website of your dreams with Squarespace, okay? Do it right now and go to squarespace.com slash Jenna Julian to save dead ass 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain or click the link down below. And while we're clicking links, check out the skim. Over 7 million people wake up to news that is summarized for them in a concise newsletter known as The Skim. I do it. I love it. It is one of the few, very few emails that I actually click on in my inbox nowadays where it gives me a nice, concise rundown of what's going on in the world uh, without any of the nonsense mumbo jumbo that I don't want to sift through. They've already done it. They can, it's, it's so beautiful and easy to read. It's just like having a snack, but the snack is information. And uh, right now you go to theskim.com, T-H-E-S-K-I-M-M, -M, that's two M's. Enter your email and click subscribe. It's completely free. And check it out. Like test it out. Give it a, give it a little test drive for like a week. See how you like it. The odds are you're just going to walk around more informed and smart and wonderful and educated and happy. So check it out. Go to the skim or click the link down below. And when you enter your email and subscribe, you're also entered to win a $250 Visa gift card. That could be completely free money for you. So give it a shot. Thank you, sponsors. Thank you, sponsors. Okay, this one's good. Alligator arms. Do you know what that is? No. Okay. 
Oh, man. We've all seen some alligator arms. Oh, Grace. Oh, Grace. Oh, Grace. It's a very... All right, let me... I'll give you a hint. It's a very specific scenario that this word was coined. It's not like dead ass where it can be applied in many scenarios. This is for one situation that happens. That's not what an alligator does, by the way. (laughs) I don't know what that is. Is it... uh, I don't know. Are you like on your stomach and using your arms like this in some capacity? No. Are alligators' arms long or are they short? No, they're short. short. That's the thing. Okay. They're short. So you can't reach something? Yes. It's called yes. alligator? No, no, no. That's um, You're warmer, <laughs> warmer. You haven't gotten it yet. <laughs> well, you said yes. Yeah, I was like, I had it. Um, alligator arms. You can't reach something. You're trying to... Oh, my God. Um, I'm thirsty. I didn't spill. You are... <laughs> oh, your face. Your face. Oh, your it face. is? I didn't feel it. Oh. oh. I don't know. Um, I don't know. I'm going to say you can't reach the cake when you need it. Very close. It's when someone, when you're out to dinner and someone reaches for the check, but perf- purposely <laughs> oh. doesn't reach all the way. <laughs> so yeah. someone intercepts them. I do that arms. one. Oh, shoot. Funny. I knew that one. So yeah. it's basically for people who are f- flexing to get the check, but they don't actually want to get right. the check. Right. Oh, let me get that. Let me get it. Yeah. Let, yeah. It doesn't even go that far, though. Kind of never reaches over the table. Oh, let yeah. me get that. Right. I got it. Ooh. 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 U W U. U W U. Ooh, U W U. Ooh, 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 ooh. Um. You won't you? Okay. I hear uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can Incorrect. Hear mar- I can hear Marble snoring. Yeah, I can too. Marble, quiet um, down. Over no, he's cute. He's all. You want to? No. All right, I'll give you this. It's not an acronym. Shedding. So. Oh, ooh, shedding. Ooh. Is that like, um, you look great. Ooh, ooh. Sort of. It means cuteness overload. So if you see something really cute, it makes ooh. you ooh, ooh. Ooh, ooh. What is it? It looks like a cat when you write it out, right, Jenna? Yeah. yeah like the W is the little mm. whiskers or ooh, whatever. Ooh. I don't know. Oh. Ooh, ooh. Okay, this is another one I didn't know, but I actually think it's kind of funny that okay. they made this a definition. BTO. You're not going to guess it if you don't know. It's very random. But give it your best shot. Mm. Beat the others. No, I'll give you a hint. What does PTO mean? Paid time off. Mm -hmm. Bed time off. Nope. Beauty time off. Nope. Best time off. Nope. Banana time off. Okay, that's it. (laughs) It means bathroom time off. Similar to paid time off or personal time off, one can easily achieve 40 hours of additional vacation time by taking a daily 923, uh, daily 9.23 minute dump at work. <laughs> Executive types and employees with seniority can often increase their BTO up to 60 hours a year by extending their bathroom sessions to 13.85 minutes. That's I can see BTO. why you would think that was funny. What the actually, heck? It actually is it pretty is funny. funny. That's yeah. why I think. Here's the, you want me to I would read not it have in thought an example that out, sentence? Like Oh, I think you sure. need to hear it. Sure. Damn, I got to level 168 on Candy Crush this year just on BTO alone. <laughs> nice. <laughs> that was pretty good. BTO. Okay. Drip. Uh, so drip is like, um, it's coming. So are you, you're making, are you making me a drink? Drip. No. Hmm. No, it's not that. <laughs> uh, well, Drip used to be like somebody who's a real, like, loser. A Drip what? was somebody... A drip. Oh, like you're being a total Drip? Yeah. A Drip was... I used I've to, heard that. Yeah, that's old-fashioned. That's apparently not it either. Um, is it used as a noun or a verb or an adjective? Adjective. Uh, right? Yeah. Adjective. Sort like of. someone's or outfit almost. has a lot of drip. Oh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Damn, Debbie, that sushi shirt has some drip. It's got some styly. Respect the drip. Pretty much, yeah, style, right? Yeah. It's wow. kind of it. Uh, the actual Respect definition the is when you're... <laughs> Excuse me, I'm trying to read the official oh, definition. Sorry. <laughs> 
stop having fun over there. When your bling is iced out, but that shirt melting from all your hot bars, you've got the drip. Pretty much what you said. Mm. Respect the drip. Mm-hmm. When Actually, I should amend this. No, I was going to say sushi shirt, but it says shit, not shirt, so it wouldn't work. Okay, next one. Vibe check. Do you know what vibe check means? Uh, I would say that when you're with somebody, you're doing a vibe check to make sure they're in a good mood because otherwise you're going to go home or go somewhere else. Pretty much, yeah. Yeah, we'll allow it. We'll allow it. I mean, basically, it's like, yeah, at a random time, someone you're with can check your vibe by saying vibe check. Check your vibe, Kermit. I do it to Kermit quite a bit. Check your vibe, Kermit. And he never passes the vibe check. Yeah, he never. Passes His vibes the are vibe way check. off, my guy. His vibes are off. Vibe check, Debbie. Happy, good. Is that <laughs> she what you say? the vibe check. Except it's up to me. Oh, I'm, I'm doing the vibe check. So oh. no matter what you say, I just get to read the vibe. And I, even if you say I'm good, I could be like, no, you passed. The, you failed the vibe check. Who am I? Uh, you're Kermit. Mm. Now am I passing the vibe check? Vibe check, Kermit. Kermit. Okay, ready? Mm. Rari. Oh, it's car. My Rari's outside. <laughs> Damn, baby. Yeah, what kind she, of car? What kind of a car? Ferrari. Damn. Damn. She's making a fool Do out of us. Fun. Do it to him. Say it. Do it to him. <clears throat> oh. Do it to him. Say, you know I had to do it to him. You know I had to do it to him. Nice. Well done. Okay, ready? Tall boy. Oh, I have one of those in my family. Yeah, you do. <laughs> it's a tall guy. No, no. that's the literal definition. So a tall boy uh, in my, you know, back when Abraham Lincoln was alive, a tall boy was a very large, was a big beer. So it was a big can of beer or a big, like a GQ it's or something like that. That's exactly what, that's what it is. How many ounces? 32. 180. 180 ounces oh of a God. beer? <laughs> yeah, officer, I just had one beer. 180 ounces. It's 24 ounces. Oh. What the? That doesn't sound like a tall boy to me. A regular beer, 16 ounces. The one that's this size. And then the tall boy, 24 ounces. Oh, yeah. But back in the day, a tall boy was like a tall boy. Like a mug? Like no, a... it was like a. they have, you know, they have these cans or like gigantic. Yeah, that's what a tall boy is. Uh, Have you seen like a Tecate? Those come in the big old... Yeah, and Fosters and stuff like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, that's, yeah. That's only... That's the, 24 ounces. Oh, no, it's bigger than that then. It's not. Mm. Well, back in the day it was. That is not correct. Do you correct. have any <laughs> giant imperial quartz? Do you have those still? I don't know what that the words are. That was a GIQ. You, you had a rock? Yeah, it had a giant imperial quartz was a big quartz? container Quartz? Q-U-A-R-T-Z? Big, like the rock? Quart. Z- Giant, G I Q, Giant Imperial Court was a great big thing of beer. You call the beer a Giant Imperial Court? Yes, because that was the container that it came in. Okay, that sounds like some Abraham Lincoln (laughs) talk right there. It's like, (laughs) never heard of that. Yo, bartender, another G I Q for the table. Just one. We only need one. And four straws. (laughs) It's it's like a fishbowl. Yeah. Have you ever had a fishbowl? Oh, is where everybody kind of drinks out of the same? Yeah, yeah. Was, you'll take straws. Is that what they were drinking out of in the theater the night that uh, John Wilkes Booth? <laughs> is it, I'm sorry, too soon. Yeah, <coughs> they were too sharing. Soon. It's literally not too soon. It's been so long. They since They were that sharing a, a GIQ with four straws. <laughs> <laughs> and Debbie rolls up. Yo, can I have some? Yeah. B Y O S. Bring your own straw. When the GIQ's in the house, you B Y O S. Mm. Dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. <laughs> dead ass. Dead ass. Okay. Dead ass. All right, Debbie. Dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. Dead ass. Thirst trap. Sorry, I missed that. Thirst, Thirst trap. trap. Mm. Pretzels, peanuts. Hey, that's not a things bad Things that guess. are salty, chips. No. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> uh, Thirst trap. Um, Do you want to help her out on this one? Going someplace where there's not going to be any. Do you know what like being thirsty is online? Oh. Yeah. What does that mean online? Mm. Being thirsty means you. Uh, huh. 
I, I don't. I, I mean, it's kind of like right here, but I, I don't know. Really. Like you, like you really want attention from somebody. Oh, so like I being see. Really yeah, you're thirsty. thirsty. Right, 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 right. So what would so a, a thirst, thirst trap, trap be? Would mean, um, like somebody who's very needy, kind of. Like a woman that's very needy. Damn. Why don't you can't. just tell her? A of thirst like... trap is like uh, a post, usually with a photo of oneself, that is specifically posted. Oh, I see. Right. To garner attention uh, of of the sexual nature. Got it. <laughs> Often trap. from simps. But it's a trap. But it's a trap it's because a you're trap. actually not getting your thirst quenched from Got that it. person. Mm. It is an illusion. It is a game that they play Got for it. likes. And numbers. There's right? trap. There's trap. Sure. Or DMs. Or attention. I yeah. don't know. There's many uses for a thirst trap. Well, well it's kind of like potato chips, but not really. Yeah. It's like the <laughs> online version of potato chips. <laughs> okay. Head ass. Okay. So there's dead ass. There's dead ass. Now there's head, head ass. ass. Head ass. Mm. So if dead ass means... If Kermit were to... Run outside barking and attack a uh, possum in the in the bushes and really be a nuisance. I would say, babe, Kermit's being a head ass. Mm. That's kind of my example. He's, mm. It's because he's got his head up his ass, but that's not mm. head ass. That is literally what it is. I thought. Is that where it came from? Head up your head up your own ass. Well, yeah, but it's also like, yeah. It attacks a person person's intelligence. So if you call someone a head ass, you're basically calling them stupid. Mm. Head a, head ass. Yeah, your head's up your ass, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Say it. Call me a head ass. Oh, it can't can you be a head ass dead ass? You're being a head ass dead ass <laughs> dead <laughs> ass. Damn. Damn. Dead ass. Call me with that one. I'm bankrupt too. <laughs> Drink. Oh, okay. Um, I put the wine away. God, I God decided church. I didn't need. No, no, that no. At drink all. it. No, drink. I, I, I. You can't flex wine and then not drink it. It flexes seems... wine, doesn't drink. What it. a. Fl- I'm drinking wine. Doesn't Dead ass. Drink any of it. Dead ass. Dead ass. You're gonna pour that wine and not drink it. I'll put it in the refrigerator. I'll drink SMH. it later. SMH. SMH. My head. SMH. SMH. Ooh. I missed that. Did you drink out of it? Yeah, you handed it to me. Yeah, I, but... I waterfalled it. Okay, good. Come on, come on, machine. No, we didn't have any on you. I was yeah. That practice <laughs> round was earlier. Oh, she's had it with us. Yeah, that's maybe okay. it was just me. I don't know. <laughs> it's fine. Just push through. Okay. Excuse me. God church. What's a God church? What's a God church? Mm, a synagogue. No. Uh. This is Urban Dictionary. Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, God Church. Um, that would be a uh, building that's not a church, but where people go and have a good time. Have you ever heard um, Jake Paul's song, Is Every Day, Bro? No. Have you really, really? not? You've have never, you really not you've heard never that? Heard I don't that? think so. Are you sure that mm-hmm. one of the like five billion views it has isn't yours? Probably not. Okay, right. here, I'll put it in a sentence for you. Okay. Machine just dropped those sushi shirt shirts, and they're selling like a god church. Oh, yeah, like hotcakes. Yeah, that's it, hotcakes. Like, uh, like like wildfire. The actual definition, not my words, like god church. is some stupid shit Jake Paul said. Uh, that's referring to the song "It's Every Day, Bro," because mm. he says my merch is selling like a god church. That some is why stupid it's on shit it. that Jake Paul. Said. <laughs> right, I got it. Okay, Stan. 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 Yeah, that's when you like someone, you're in a relationship yeah. with them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What, what was the second thing? Mm. You're in a relationship with them? Well, you, well, it could be in a relationship in your mind. Okay. You know, so, you're, you're not really in a relationship with them, but you you wish you were or you you stand somebody, you like them. And yes, you, that's yeah, a, you just you're like, like a fan them. of yeah. someone. Do you know a where it came from? Uh, no, I don't. Eminem song, Eminem Stan. Song? Do you remember that song? Oh, Stan. Oh, yeah. You remember that song? Yeah, yeah. When he's yeah, reading yeah. the letters. Yeah. Yeah. That's oh, where it yeah. came from. Oh, I, okay. I didn't know that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Copped. Copped. Um, well, in the olden days, cop, <laughs> cop meant to 
That How worked old are we before. talking, John Wilkes? <laughs> Older than Wilkes? <laughs> Cop meant to steal something or grab something. So used it in a sentence. So somebody would, you know, like it, cop like some... in your in your you, you form, like you just did yeah. It. Somebody copped. No, some... like say I. Oh, I, I copped some cigarettes at the store. Yeah, that's literally it. Yeah, you yeah. claim property, oftentimes someone else's. Yeah, I copped that from somebody. Yeah. Or if like a new pair of dope sushi shirts come out, <laughs> sushi shirt shoes. <laughs> You're like, yeah, I copped those sushi, sushi shirt shoes. Shoes. I like that idea. It's just a picture of your sushi shirt on the shoes. Oh no, but shoes. Sushi oh, shoes. No. Sushi. Oh no. Oh Grace. Oh Grace. Grace. Sushi shoes. It's like looks like a piece of sushi, except it's a shoe. It <laughs> They're probably like out there. Don't you? Th- I've never been to Japan, but don't you think in Japan they probably they already have those? Japan, yeah. yeah. Okay. Snack. Oh, that's somebody who looks cute. Yeah. How, she's owning. She's like doing so well. Yeah, but you had to tell me the first 50. <laughs> You're doing way better than I thought you would, to be honest. All right. Speaking cursive. Ooh. I like that one. Um, to be uh, incomprehensible. That's not uh, inaccurate. Much. Yeah. I mean, yeah. It's, it's a characteristic of it, but. You're you're just in, you know you're. When's the time then you that you speak incomprehensibly? Oh, am I stepping on that? <laughs> Every day. No. <laughs> <laughs> what happens if you drink a bunch of those glasses of wine? Oh, when you're drunk, you, yeah, you, you're, yeah, you're speak talking cursive. Or speaking cursive, That's, or you're trying to is, sing. Or you're trying, yeah, that or you're would trying be, to sing a certain way, right? Yeah. That's yeah, that would be me. It's yeah. That cursive sound. Yeah, I basically talk cursive most of the time, don't I? Sometimes, yeah. I mean, I sing a lot. No, okay. No one listens. Care to give us a song? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> here's what um, my grandson and I like to sing. Uh, he tells you to stop. By the he way. does tell me with a with a big hand, you know, <laughs> right in my face. Stop. You know. Uh, what should we sing? Uh, 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 yeah, I don't know. I can't think of anything to say. Standing ovation. What a performance. That ass. But well, let's just say this. So Julian made a space burger. I did. I made an some, art piece out yeah. of the old acrylic paint that I peeled off the trays, and I turned it into a space burger. And so I put space burger to the you, Goldfinger theme song. Yeah, sing it. Space burger, da, da, da. it's a burger that's made out of pain. Yep, there it is. That was it right there. Dropping on iTunes this week, y'all. Thanks for coming to promote the new album. <laughs> All right, uh, stream sniping. Ooh. Uh, that's when you go on someone else's stream and you... Mm, try to steal their uh, followers or their people that like their stream. That's not a bad guess. It's also, at all. not a bad guess. I mean, you're that's in essence what people are kind of doing is trying to steal attention from. Yeah. Um, do, do you want me to just tell her? Yeah. Stream sniping is when if I'm playing the same game as a streamer, I load up and try to queue into the same match that they're in and, and like use the information land. of yeah. watching to them go try and kill to try them. to unfairly kill them. Ooh. Yeah. So it's like screen looking, but yeah. online. Wow. Yeah. That low latency. That low latency. It's toxic. You shouldn't stream snipe. Yeah, you shouldn't do it. It's no fun. But you should also not call stream sniper. Like a lot of people will die. Oh, and I be see. like, oh, stream sniper. <clears throat> oh, they die, I see. Yeah. You know? But yeah. sometimes that person isn't or was not. Yes, right. And then that person looks But stupid. it's a good excuse. <laughs> okay, full send. What does it mean to full send? Uh, full send means, um, that you, uh, it's kind of like a full stop, only it's, instead of stopping, it's like, oh, everything, I'm sending everything. So I I don't like you, so I'm throwing all, all your junk out on the lawn. You full send all their stuff. uh, I'll allow it, yeah. I'll allow it. Like if I, if I... Was gonna take my motorbike off of some jumps and do a backflip and do a backflip. You full send it, full fucking send it. You don't half ass the thing. You just fucking (laughs) right. Yeah, yeah. Full send. Yeah. So you're gonna start using that word now. Uh, Yeah. Full send. send Yeah. 
I, yeah. Yeah. Full send life, man. Absolutely. Oh, 100%, yeah. Full send you know? it with a sushi shirt on top, baby. Okay, cut it with the sushi shirt already. <laughs> speaking Never. Of, speaking Never. Of, speaking of the sushi shirt. I'll what? stop talking about your sushi shirt when you stop singing things like Gold Burger. <laughs> <laughs> she calls them original covers. Okay. Visco Girl. V-I-S-C-O? Visco. V-S-C-O. V-S-C-O. Visco hmm. Girl. What? How can it be V S? Oh, V S C O. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Uh, v S C O. That would be someone who likes brandy. How did you get there? Well, I was thinking about that thing on the on the bottle. It says V S something on the bottle. On, on what brandy. bottle? On the brandy? brandy bottle. Yeah. I don't drink brandy, so I don't know what you're talking about. Mm. What is she talking about? I'm not sure. It's not the correct answer. Mm-hmm. Oh. Okay, so V S C O. She can't. No, like, it's very specific. It's hard. Yeah, but. you can't. She can't like logically guess no. what it oh. is. So the definition is the Tumblr girls of 2019. You'll probably catch them wearing a scrunchie, tube top, puka ne- shell necklace. You remember those puka shells? Yeah. White Vans, and don't forget the Hydro Flask. It's like a look. It's like a type of vibe. A vas- vas- Visco. Visco. Visco girl. Okay. And a lot of people know, you know, the it app. It was the name of a photo app. It is I the name saw. of a photo app. Yeah. App, uh, Visco Kim. What's very weird is. Follow that, me on Visco, by the way. I've been posting there. What's very <laughs> weird is that scrunchies, tube tops, uh, they would be Keds instead of Vans. Uh huh. Or Birkenstocks, it says. Birkenstocks, right. <clears throat> That's what the old one used yeah, to be. Yeah, so it's sort of like a. Uh, hipster like bringing back old trends yeah, in, a, and a puka, in a very specific that puka way. Necklace, that, that's like bringing me back. Yeah, to the puka 70s. shell necklace. Is, that was my childhood. I mean, I wore those oh. in middle school. But they also I thought had, I was so in the seventies. That's what they had. I'm yeah. saying in the seventies, you had tube tops and fashion is a cycle. Mm-hmm. It's cyclical. It didn't look good back then either in the seventies. Yeah, my mom called y'all fucking. Damn, everyone not who looking, everyone who ever has something ass. to do with the seventies is dead ass Damn, head dead ass. ass. <laughs> According to Debbie. Oh, thanks, Boomer. Yeah. Whoa. Damn. Damn. Okay, this is the last one. I said that to myself, one. not to you. This is the last one. Okay. Okay. I'm ready. A pussy ass bitch. <laughs> what do you think I am? A pussy ass bitch? Give me a break. Oh. I don't think you are. I was just reading it. What do you think that means? I think that means you better not talk to me that way because I am your pussy ass bitch. Oh, <laughs> dead ass, dead ass, dead ass. Made me a head ass. Okay, it, it, this is an obnoxious podcast. It means really, huge coward, piece of shit that doesn't accept any responsibility. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like what she just said. Yeah, like fuck you, but that this is what I'm gonna call you. It's a it's pretty straightforward. I just yeah. want to end with an easy one. I, yeah, you know, like that you, was good. Like you get some momentum into the rest of the day. If you know what I mean. You know yeah. what I mean. Are you gonna drink the wine now? I'm, it's chug, going in the cl- chug, it's going in the chug, refrigerator. Chug, <laughs> chug, chug, chug. I'm not Frank chugging the, the metal. tank. Frank <laughs> the tank. tank. Frank, Frank the, the tank. tank. Frank the tank. Yeah, old school. Will Ferrell. You ever watch that? Oh no. Oh no. Yeah, I did watch that. But what do you mean? Is it time. no or yes? <laughs> What'd she say to the dog treat at the park? Oh, no. Uh, she didn't she says, know. She said, oh, that's no, okay. that's okay. But, but thank you. No, she, no it's but something you can, even more but confusing. That, you can. Thank you. <laughs> she oh, said, no, I don't oh, all think right, so, that's okay. You can. Thank you. Oh, it was, all right, that's okay. <laughs> yes, no, yes, no. It clarified a lot for me because well, that's why. why don't we why... watch it? Let's go watch old school. Yeah, that clarifies for me why when I say no, thank you, they're still giving it to her because I'm well, saying something that's probably. Okay. Say no thank you to me as a test. Just go. Say it. Say no thank you. Oh, no thank you. See, if you said that, I would be unmistakably completely aware that you said no, no as an I answer. Know. I have this feeling that it's not coming out as clear as it is right now because... That's what I said. I just realized that. Though. I think I'm saying, instead of just saying no thank you, I'm saying something beyond that. It's just not right. Dead ass? Dead ass. Dead ass. I, it's my own doing. Well, Debbie, we appreciate your uh, company and time on the podcast. I think everyone else really enjoys you being on here, too. So thank you for joining yep. another podcast of ours. Dead it's ass. been an honor. Dead ass. We should close with that um, TikTok of Grace. Oh, yes. Grace. I just want to hear the audio. Anything you have to promote? New albums? Yeah, or... what are you promoting? 
book tours or <laughs> what are you promoting? I don't know collabs. What do you got going on? Just me and the dog taking a walk. All right. All so right. Follow Gildy hey, on Google ready. Plus. On your mark, get set, go. <laughs> we'll let layup. this TikTok take us out. Thank you guys for listening. We'll be back next week. Oh boy. <laughs> now, if for some reason for another episode of the Jedi Julian Podcast, we have no one that can make a layup. <laughs> We're tied at the end of the game. Whoever has the most game pieces on our game board will be our winner. All right, Morgan's got one. Here goes Grace. All right, Morgan makes her second layup. Grace makes her second layup. Okay. Oh, Grace. Oh, Grace. Gotta make a layup. Gotta make a layup. Pay attention, Grace. No kick. Go. No, no, no. Grace, you already put that spot. You gotta pay attention. Oh, Find a spot that's open. Oh no. Alright, everybody smile oh, and wave. No. Oh, no. Bye guys. <laughs>